Hello everyone, this is Modbot here on the Pentacraft server, and I thought I'd just give you a quick little update on everything that's been going around uh, on the base. So, I guess to start we've got um, Corpse Carrot Farm. He worked on that for quite a while last night, as well as I have started a sugarcane farm and a mushroom farm. We don't have much of anything right now, I just went through and harvested everything, but it's been coming along real nicely, and I've also got some lava sources over here. We've been having some real trouble finding diamonds and this is how we're gonna get to the nether. So I'm gonna go do some mining and I'll catch up with you when I'm back. I have finally found diamonds. I've just spent the best part of two hours mining. Oh, and there's only two. Oh, there we go. Come on. Yay. Alright. This is one of the worst mining expeditions I've ever gone on. I think I recorded that last clip probably about two hours ago. And I've been mining ever since, and I just finally found diamonds. My first four diamonds on this map. Anyways, I'm going to keep going, guys, looking for a little bit more diamonds. Still trying to get to the nether. Going to pick up some obsidian, though, now. We can get there, and I'll be back with you in a bit. We have a portal. Let's go ahead and light this. Let's do this. Let's see where this tosses me. Let's go. We need to go deeper. Yes. Yes, we do. Come on. Alright. I'm ready to fight. Where did it spawn me? I hear a ghast. Oh, God. Uh, where is it coming from? This is laggy. I'm gonna build a little shelter until the leg goes away. Yeah, so we got a nice flat area. This would be real nice. There's some soul sand and a lava lake, so we could possibly get a wither farm. Alright, I'm gonna collect some of this coal. Sorry, coal. Quartz. And I'll get back with you. Oh, gassed. Ah, what was that? Light? Okay. Well, I'm gonna take care of this gas, and I'll be right back. Well guys, I have officially been to hell and back. I've got a bit of nether quartz. Didn't get any glowstone, unfortunately. However, I did come across a gas here. There is another gas kind of flying around the nether, but I'll, I'll worry about that later. There's kind of fire everywhere. I just wanted to get out of there. But I thought I'd give you a quick update. I found a place where I'm going to put my base. So I'm going to head out there, get the coordinates, and link up another portal. And when I'm over there, I'll get back to you. Alright, so I found a lovely place to put my base. It's got some nice mountains around here, as well as some waterfalls and this giant ravine here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe I'll cover it in glass and make some type of bridge over it or something. But there's also a bunch of horses around. I think I could do some stables with that. And maybe, you know, maybe give out horses to the little corp when he needs them. So I'm going to start getting work on my base. I think I'm going to start building along the side of this mountain here. It's I kind of want to keep it with the curve of the mountain, not disrupt the natural order of things too much. But I'll get started, and we'll see what I can come up with. Alright guys, so I've linked up the nether portals and picked out where I'm going to put my base. So now, all that's left to do is go over there. I have gotten to work and gotten a little bit done. Not much though, so we'll go ahead and see what we've got. Let's pop into the nether. And I know there's still gas flying around, so I'm going to be pretty quick. Alright, so come out here. Yeah, there's fire everywhere. Alright, so follow the cobblestone path. You can see I've got my staircase right here. And we'll go up. And let's head over and see what we're looking at. Alright. So, we're here. And... These are the mountains. You've seen these already. But I've got a bridge. Not the best bridge. I didn't know really what I wanted to do as far as my base theme goes. So this is what I put up for a bridge. I think I'm going to go for more kind of a relaxed feel on my base. I like having the flowers and the trees around. I've got some sugar cane over there and there's water everywhere. So I'm going to go for more kind of a garden-y type of look, maybe do some hanging stuff from the mountains, some suspended bridges between different buildings, which means this nether rack has got to go. 
Not sure what I'm doing for this bridge. It's really just temporary right now. And I have decided that for the ravine, I'm going to cover it in glass. Just completely cover it in glass and be able to walk right across it. So maybe I won't even need the bridge, but I'll, I might still keep it just so it looks good. And I had some trouble. Oh, had some trouble with a creeper over here. So sugar cane not big anymore, and got a random pile of dirt. So while that's still sorting out, I'm gonna get to work, and I'm gonna find a place where I can keep my stuff. So I don't want to keep it by the Nether portal. There's, I've got a huge mob problem over there. So I'm gonna come down here. And I think, yeah, right here by the water. This will work. So let's give myself a crafting bench. Put that down, and then some chests. And then I need a furnace too. Now, you're probably asking why I have so much cobble on me. Well, I'm going to be working on a mob farm first. I really could use some bones for what I'm going to be doing with my base. And I'm gonna, really going to need redstone from witches, and glowstone would be really nice also, because looking around in the nether, there's not a lot of glowstone. I had planned on making a wither farm, and I will do that as well, but gonna need some supplies first and I think this is the best way to do it so I was thinking if I've got my base over here I don't really want to have a giant box in the middle of the sky on top of my base so I'm gonna put it somewhere in the plains over here probably right about where these flowers are except about 60 blocks in the air so that'll give enough space for the mobs to drop down die and then hoppers can collect all the stuff and put it into a sorting system I think I might use an ice and water stream to bring all of the items over here and then into a sorting system inside my base. So I'm going to start working. Not quite sure what I'm going to start with. If I don't, I'm going to start making something along the side of the mountain or if I'm going to start up with that. But I'll get back to you and see you in a bit. So I made up my mind and I decided to go with starting my base first. So to start off, I redid this bridge. I, had a little bit of a problem with a creeper, and so no more nether wreck. So instead, it's oak wood, and I, I I do like this better. It's a bit more peaceful. We're in a flower forest, so it's it's kind of fitting. But now I've got a platform, and with some pillars on it. Now what I was thinking was hold my base, kind of along the side of the mountain here, and all of these hard corners, like right there and right there, maybe either make it stained clay or spruce logs. It's just something dark to kind of draw away from all the light down here and then something dark again maybe behind here and then another idea I had was to redo this kind of lake here and make it one block deep with sand all around it and then get rid of the dirt here here and there's a little bit over here as well and change that into a beach like we have here and there and there so they're all thoughts haven't done much, and I fall into this ravine more than once, so I just kind of pushed up putting glass over that on my list. But this is what I've done so far. I've got the sugar cane over here. Had more trouble with the creeper, so this looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. As well, some of the trees came down to do that, but they will be back. And what I really like about this is the waterfall that kind of goes through right there. Uh, one quick thing before I go is that I had another idea is put glass behind this and then make farms behind it. So maybe have cows over here with glass right there and pigs over here with glass right there and then make them accessible from the outside for breeding and then have water streams to push the babies into a killing chamber. Let them grow up and then kill those from the inside. So it would be a great way to get food and it also look pretty neat with this build. So, I got it done. Voila, here it is. I ended up putting beach all the way around, as well as filling the bottom with sand. And I must say, it looks kind of like a pool. It doesn't look very natural, but I think it really fits in with this birch wood real well. I also added more sugar cane along the bottom here. Uh, this time, I did not get blown up by a creeper, but when I destroyed the dirt to put in sand, I just just kind of felt like that was a lot more fitting. As well as you can see now, 
I have some cows, which means cow farming. We really need leather on the server, and we really need food. And I found some cows just a little bit over on the other side of the mountain. So I got them tied down, and I am going to go with the cow farm down here on this side of the waterfall. And instead of doing pigs on this side, I'm instead going to do chickens. Feathers will be great to make bows with, or bows, arrows with, and it'll be a nice constant food supply as opposed to the cows that I'm going to have to manually kill. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been MopBot, and I'm out.